praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwap, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. And um, you know, this scripture right here, you know, until I looked into the word mad. I used to always think that this word was literally talking about being crazy, you know, because when you read Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, it says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad and a gift to stir up the heart. So the first part of the scripture, you know, once you realize who you are, who once you realize who your enemy is and who the devil really is, and, you know, you find out that you are Israelite, the son of the most high and, but you at the bottom of the totem pole. So when it said, surely oppression makes a wise man mad, I used to always think like, hey, it do make you crazy. It makes you really upset. It makes you want to just, you know, want to go take out the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? You just want to go crazy. But when you look into the word, and the word is um halal, it say to shine, to shine. Figure to God's favor to flash, but the point that I want to get is right here. It said to boast, to glory, to make one's boast. And you know that makes total sense. I mean total good sense because um once you hear this word and you realize that you are oppressed, look at the way that we talk. We talk about, you know, this place going down with fire, being destroyed in one hour. All hell is going to break loose, but we are happy about it. Like we really are happy about it. Why the world look at us like we crazy because they probably looking at it from this standpoint. You in the world too. You talk about the place going to be burnt up in one hour, but you still here on the earth. You know, so that's, I try to put myself in a mindset of unbelievers and people who don't have understanding because we once were those people. You know, so I try to put myself in a mind state of them. So when I used to read the scripture, surely oppression makes a wise man mad and the gift destroy of the heart. Now, the gift that destroy of the heart, you know, once you receive any type of benefits from this devil, you know, you start to get um, rocked, rocked back to sleep. You know, you start to be like, oh, the devil ain't that bad. He gave me some food stamps. He gave me Section 8, you know, so he got to feed his slaves. He got to give you the illusion that, you know, because um, the main thing is that he don't want you to call on your power. He knows when you call on his when, when you call on your power, that's the end of him. So for a long time, he was able to reign a long time. He was able to, you know, call us every byword and proverb you could think of everything but a son of the most high. He was able to do that for a time. But now that time is over, you know. And yeah, so we boast in the Lord and we be talking crazy, you know, we crazy as the scripture said in first uh, Corinthians four and nine, we are, we have became fools for her Mashiach's sake. And when you go into that words, fools is say Mysterion talking about the mystery. See, we understand that this have to happen for our kingdom to come. So when we out on the highways and byways and we calling the devil, the damn devil, you know, the, the self-proclaimed white man since 1681, Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speak of. When we are standing in his kingdom, telling him that he's going to go down, that he's going into slavery, he going to reap what he sold. Everything that you've done to us, you're going to get that and plus more. But see, we are righteous people. We're not going to do every single thing that he done to us because that was just abominations. We ain't going to be raping him and raping his wife in front of him and, uh, you know, raping kids. And, you know, I can go on for days when it comes to this, but, you know, want to keep this video PC for it could stay up. But yeah, man. So we boast in the Lord. That's what it's all about. So when I go to um, I want to read Psalms 34 verse two and three. The whole Psalms is good, but I just want to read two and three. So it says Psalms 34 and two. My soul shall make her boast in Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. See, that's what happens 
you know, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. Why are we happy? Because we understand that one day all our oppression is going to burn. All our bad memories is going to burn. The Lord is going to turn a nightmare into rejoicing. And we understand that all hell have to break loose before that happens. So it said, my soul shall make her boast in Yahweh Bashem Elvishai. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. I wonder what that word is for humble. Uh, Ainawa. Ainawa. Or Aina. Yeah, uh, it's I. It's I So, anyways, it said poor, humble, afflicted, meek. All right. Oh, down here for a uh, letter C. Poor, weak, and, and afflicted, humbly, low, meek. And then when you go to Revelation three and nine, it said, "I know thy tribulation, thy affliction, thy poverty, but thou art rich." Why? Because we have the total hundred percent understanding of the Lord's word, which is going to lead us into salvation if we stand stiffly for the name of the Lord and endure to the end. Uh, James 2 and 5 say he had blessed the poor to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom. And let's read verse 3. It said, Oh, magnify Yahweh with me. And let us exalt his name together, which tells you that we have his name. You know, for people say, how you know you got the name? Well, then the Lord is a liar. And Romans 3 and 3 said, what if some did not believe? Do that make the most, do that make the faith of the most high without effect? God forbid, for God is true and every man a liar. And the scriptures also say in first, uh, first John 5, 9 and 10, it talks about how the testimony of the most high is greater than men so his word is greater than a man's comprehension or his understanding his own understanding because the lord said that he had manifest his name to those who his father have given him john 17 and 6 so going back to surely oppression makes a wise man mad and going into that word mad is halal in the hebrew and it's talking about boasting yeah. So when we read first John two and 15, Salakia, you know, I'm a, I'm a scriptural quoter. I just, it just moves fluently that way. You know, if you, you know, write it down or rememorize, um, if you're listening to this video, it just, it's easier than, you know, the quote instead of to get 30 scriptures. But anyways, when you go to first John two and 15, it talks about loving, not the world. And if you love the world then you are enmity with the most high and that the love of the world is nothing but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. So that's our boast. So you got people who don't know God and who don't understand God and God wants you to make us require you to have a sacrifice he wants you to sacrifice this wicked ass life all right and, and and serve him but people in the world who don't have understanding like wait a minute i live in the world i do want to make money i do want what my heart desires. but the scripture said in jeremiah 17 and 9 that the heart is wicked and desperately matter of fact it said the heart is desperately wicked and deceitful who can know it so your heart is wicked and when you go into that word heart is lob in Hebrew and it's your mind. So your mind is wicked. Your mind think evil all the time. And then you indoctrinated by wickedness from the womb. So the only thing that keeps us, you know, for succumbing to our wicked mind is that the Lord have mercy upon us and he keeps us. He restrains us. We don't do anything. So going back to. You know, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. So when we talk like this, because this this is the end game. These last scriptures that I'm about to read, this is the end game. So it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So going back, I always try to put myself in the mind frame of the people who don't have understanding, who've been taught that God is all love and everything is going to be all right. So I try to put my mind. And that I try to put my um, self in their mind state because when I was a Christian, I did have that mind. So when we are talking, 
we are boasting about this. But on the other side, they looking at us like we crazy. All right. But we understand that this have to come. This have to come and is inevitable. So you better become crazy, which a.k.a. it means to boast in the Lord. So when you are mad, you're boasting in the Lord. See, that's why you can't read these words in English. You have to go into the original language to get more understanding. That's why people in the world don't have understanding because they look at the scriptures and read it in English and it don't hit the same. It don't mean the same. That's why they butcher John 316. But it says in the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. This is what we talk about. And this is what we constantly talk about. Because we are boasting in the Lord, we understand that this have to come. And if, and if it don't come, more years of oppression, more years that this devil rule, more years of looking at his pasty ass. All right. And it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons you ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for into hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth where dwell of righteousness. So this is our speech. This is our belief. But on the other side of the spectrum, the people who hear us talk is like, oh, hell no. These niggas is mad. You know, the English form of mad. You know, these people, when they look at us, they be like, oh, this guy is mad, a.k.a. crazy. But we are crazy for the Lord because we boasting in something that we that the Lord gave us this faith. Because he. The scripture said in John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. They know me and they follow me. So when you hear this voice, when you hear the words that the Lord put the spirit on a man to speak, that's how you got this truth. Everybody learn from a man. Then the Lord give the increase. But once you heard this word, you were sealed. And guess what? This is your hope now. This is the only thing that ever gave us hope. And we understand that. If this ain't the truth, all right, even though I know that this is the truth, but I have to speak in this manner. If this ain't the truth, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, you are through. The Lord said in Matthew 24 and 21 that if he don't shorten the days, there will be no flesh saved. So call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for giving us this word, giving us this faith, and allowing us to speak it into existence. Because every time that we prophesy, the Lord is working every day. And if you ain't looking for it, then guess what? You ain't watching and praying like Yahweh Shai told his disciples. But I just thought that was interesting because um, when you go into that word, Matt, it talks about boasting in the Lord and surely oppression makes you want to do that because when you are oppressed you are upset and then once you find out who you are matter of fact let me end it on this scripture see this this is what we talk about all right this is mad talk <laughs> after in uh second Ezra 6 54 and after these adam also whom you made as lord of all thy creatures of him come we all in the people also whom you has chosen see that's a separation right there all this have i spoken before you O lord because you made us the world for our sake so surely oppression makes a wise man mad understanding that this whole setup in the um that when the Lord said, when he made everything in Genesis 1, and he said, and it was good, he made it for us. Why we don't possess it? Because we went off. All right. So anyways, it said, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, you have said that they are nothing but like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So imagine, you know. Living your whole life thinking that, you know, you're just going along to get along, trying to make it in this place. 
And then the Lord wake you up and give you the truth. And now your eyes are open. You see everything differently. You don't have the, the carnal worldview that you used to have. So everybody look at us like we crazy. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Because it said that blessed are you when men shall revow you and separate you and cast out evil because of the son of man's sake. So. The word mad means to boast in the Lord. Thought that was interesting. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.